Welcome to another edition of Let's Turn This Box Truck Into an RV. It is the last day of 2017 and I've had a little time to, to work on this project this weekend. It's, it's been a lot of fun. I'm continuing to work on it. As promised yesterday, I chewed into this pile of maple to make a countertop. Uh, some beautiful maple boards here, in my opinion. Uh, it's got this, this wonderful I'm not sure what they call it, smalting or spalting, but it's got some really pretty lines in it here. And you can see I've carefully chosen as much as possible the quarter grain to be on the surface. So you can see the grain on these boards for the most part is running as vertical as, as I can. And when you do that you start to get some of this uh, really nice quarter sawn uh, uh, flecking or kind of waviness which uh, which I think is beautiful so I've cut out enough pieces here uh, there's two countertops one is going to measure 76 by 27 and a quarter and the other one is 40 by 23 and three quarters uh, these are actually 82 inches long so they're a little longer than needed and I've run them through the jointer to flatten out one side and then run them through the planer to get them parallel and then flip it and do the same thing to square them up. Uh, these are about two inches thick yet. The finished countertop I'm shooting for about one and a half inch thick, possibly a little thinner than that. So there's still some scrap on here. I think what I'm going to do is uh, run them through the table saw to get them a little more consistent in thickness. You can see some got a little thin. Some of these boards were just bananas when I started out yesterday. Really warped from just air drying and sitting down here in the basement for the summer. And so, uh, you know, they, they've been squared up quite nicely. So I've got, what is it, 18 boards here? No, not 18 boards. What have I got here? Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 boards. And what I plan on doing is gluing them up into three sets. So I'm going to glue these three, glue these four, three, and four. And by doing so, then I can take the four planks that I end up with and again, run them through the jointer and the planer and square them up nicely. And then glue the four planks up as a single countertop. Because uh, once they're glued up to something bigger than 15 inches, I cannot fit it through my planer. I might actually glue the pairs like this because I could get this through the planer yet, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, my plan is to biscuit join them with uh, number two biscuits and uh, glue them up. So, then the, the, the uh, let's pull them together here to get the idea. And I've got a nice stainless steel sink that I purchased a while back. The sink's going to go right about here. So I've selected a few spots here that I know will wind up in the cutout for the uh, for the sink, a couple of bad spots. So that's why I've kind of carefully laid these boards out. You can see the ones with this uh, smalting or spalting are kind of spaced in between. I've got them all numbered, as you can see, so I know how they're going to go back together. The second smaller countertop uh, is going to look something like this. The bigger one, too, is going to have quite a big radius on the corners, like this. So the smaller one is over here. Uh, I've rough cut these to 42 inches. The finished uh, size is 40 inches. You can see they're still pretty variable in, uh, in thickness. So the next job is to get them all consistent thickness and glue them up. Here I've got a couple thicker ones, as you can see, are wider boards. They're not all the same. Uh, I didn't have enough when I had this pile that I brought in last summer. Uh, I ran a little short, so there's a couple of planks here that uh, I just had on the scrap pile here, happened to have some maple to make up enough for what I need, and uh, this one in particular I think is just a beautiful, beautiful quarter sawn maple board. And you can see I still don't have quite enough to make up my uh, 20, 23, uh, 25 and 3 quarters, what is it, 23 and 3 quarter inches. So I've got a couple on the floor here that I'm just gluing up, uh, just gluing up a couple of scrap maple planks there, and this one is kind of a thin little piece onto another thicker piece, but 
uh, it's going to be just fine. So I've got those two pieces to add in and I should have enough maple to finish this project. And these are the scraps. This is the firewood and I got a mountain of uh, sawdust over here too which I already took a whole bucket out and I'll uh, be making some more. So you know when I cut these trees down and make them into boards it seems like about a third of it winds up in sawdust third of it winds up in firewood and I'm lucky if a third of it ends up in the actual uh, things that I make. So a lot of scrap, a lot of work, a lot of fun. That's all for now. Until next time.